the most um, changing uh, in the satellite market is that they become more and more pervasive. Uh, in the past, even in the 90s, you were very uh, aware when you were using satellite technology. For example, you were watching satellite television. But now, you don't even know you use satellite technology, and, uh, but you really are on it much more. For example, you can't use any banking system anymore without the help of satellite technology, because timing for all banks is now provided by satellite. And many, uh, many more markets are in fact dependent on satellite, but people don't know it. We are the only <laughs> uh, agencies that register uh, worldwide all the frequencies that are used by all satellites. So all the satellites in orbit uh, rely on us uh, to register the frequencies and ensure that they can coexist in, uh, in space. This is important because in space national sovereignty does not exist and therefore only an international mechanism can ensure that all the uh, nations that want to use space can coexist without interfering to each other. The satellite industry now has gone through some quantum shifts in the last five years and we are now supplying connectivity that will reduce the digital divide. To allow us to do that, we're going to need uh, bandwidth, we're going to need frequency. Um, KU band frequency is full uh, in most areas of the world and KA band frequency for a number of reasons has been the frequency that we've chosen to enable us to reduce that digital divide because 0.7% of the population in Africa is connected by fibre and fixed line. That percentage goes up by 0.1% a year. Okay? For us to allow to close that digital divide in Africa, satellite is going to be part of the solution. It'll be 10%, 5% of the solution at the end, but it will definitely have to be part of the solution. What's happening now is that they are trying to point an antenna in order to be connected through internet to a, an HTS, high throughput satellite in k -Band, located just here above us next to ITU, and then to monitor the signals. And this procedure, in fact, is just to prevent interference, which is one of our ITUR objectives in, in ITU. The industry is not only giving us the innovation, but it's also giving us the substance, and then in the future will be discussed in the study groups, also in the WRS, uh, WRC conference, which then, then will be standardized to be used uh, at a global level. most emergencies, the only communication solution you have is satellite communication. Um, because you've lost power to your GSM system, to your mobile phones, you don't have any working uh, landlines because of an earthquake. At that point, uh, satellite systems uh, that rely on solar power are the only option you have. The UN was very clear, disasters are going to be becoming more frequent and they're becoming more uh, severe. Last year, with nine other satellite fleets, UTELSAT uh, signed a charter, it's called the Crisis Connectivity Charter, with the UN, where we promised to supply pre-predictable solutions on a worldwide basis, so that the UN can now start to plan their reactions in each country. <laughs>